Welcome to this episode of our program Daily Debate. As usual, we will be discussing a contentious debate. Today, we'll be discussing the developments in the Egyptian economy, particularly of what concerns the Egyptian pound, which uh, continued to strengthen, uh, reaching a three months high as uh, importers demand four dollars at banks uh, east. Banks were selling dollars at around 15.8 pounds per dollar, stronger than Thursday's rate of around 16 uh, per dollar. The central bank li liberalized the currency and raised base interest rated by 3% in early November, encouraging the International Monetary Fund to agree a three-year 12 billion uh, dollars funding deal later this month. The causes of uh, this uh, increase in the rate of the pound uh, against the US dollar, how would this uh, impact the Egyptian economy? What is the reflection of this on investments, uh, on the imports and exports? Uh, what exactly uh, are now the opinion of uh, investors and uh, particularly the importers on this particular domain. This and more will be discussed later on in our show. Before we um, uh, delve into our discussion, first let's have the top story of the day in Egypt, Tunisia, Algeria. Uh, foreign ministers issue declaration on resolving Libyan crisis. A trilateral meeting of the foreign ministers of Egypt, Libya and Algeria concluded on Monday with the representatives of the three countries releasing a statement on a Tunisian declaration to support comprehensive political reconciliation in Libya. Uh, I guess we have with us over the phone to... Right, so before starting our uh, discussion in uh, relevant uh, to the story, in a press conference, Foreign Minister Samah Shukri, along with his Tunisian and Algerian counterparts, Khamis El Dwena and Abdullah Qadir Mishal called on all Libyan parties to participate in talks in cooperation with their neighboring countries and the United Nations. The Tunisian declaration included six points that reiterated the rejection of foreign military or political intervention in Libyan domestic affairs. The statement stressed the importance of preserving the Libyan state and army in accordance with the, nine, uh, the 2015 Sukhairat Agreement and its future amendments through discussion and coordination between Libyan factions. The leaders of Egypt, Tunisia and Algeria will be briefed on the outcome of the meeting of the foreign ministers ahead of an uh, anticipated trilateral summit in Algeria. The date has yet to be determined. Um, I guess we have with us over the phone to uh, highlight the issue, Ambassador Raha Ahmed Hassan, member of the Egyptian Council for Foreign Affairs. Good evening to you. Good evening, Ambassador Raha. Hello, good evening. I can't hear you because it's very far. I'll try to raise my voice as much as possible. Yeah, okay, please. Uh, hello? Yes. So, uh, we're speaking about the Trilateral uh, Foreign Minister Summit that took place in Algeria uh, and uh, where the three discussed the developments in Libya, issuing a declaration today of six points. Um, your comment to the new six points, how much does today uh, a declaration differ than the one that was issued in Sukhairat, the other that was issued later on in Cairo, and another very recent one in Cairo. Well, although I can't hear you well, but I think this uh, meeting is a, an important step towards trying to, uh, you know, reach and uh, close up to the situation, because the, uh, there is a differences among all the fractions in, in Libya, and we noticed it during the meeting here in Cairo. Uh, to, uh, but today, this declaration, in, in my point of view, the most important point is that uh, the, the uh, peaceful settlement should be reached by the Libyan fractions without excluding any of them. This is an, a, an important point because there is a little, uh, or there is a distance uh, among the three countries concerning the Muslim Brotherhood. That is why uh, this is a, a good preparation. If there would be at the summit conference, I think it would be another uh, step forward 
toward the, uh, the, the solution of the peaceful settlement in, in Libya. Mm. Today, uh, the neighboring countries uh, issued the declaration, I mean here that Egypt, Tunisia and Algeria, the three together um, have called on no, the... No, I can't hear you. Uh, unfortunately, I can't hear you. So, uh, if I raise my voice, do you hear me, uh, sir? Yes, yes, well... Right. So, uh, if uh, the three neighboring countries of Libya, together they um, issued a declaration here on the, um, or calling or on all the Libyan parties to try to find consensus on their difference or on their different situation regarding the developments in Libya. From your point of view, what could be the result of such uh, a call? Uh, how would the Libyan really find consensus uh, on, the, uh, on, the, um, on their different situations? Do you know, uh, uh, many uh, Libyan fractions are influenced strongly by uh, foreign uh, uh, countries or other uh, regional forces, mm. and some of them by international. But major influence is coming from uh, the regional uh, uh, forces. But we can say, for example, there is an influence from Turkey, from Qatar, from other Arab countries, and from Tunisia, from uh, Algeria. So if they convince the, the, the people who are they influencing to come together with their counterpart and sit together and to put the, 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 the aim of them will be the unity and the rebuilding of their country and the stopping this uh, uh, fighting, uh, which is continued for almost now more than five years, then it would be a, a, a first, very strong step towards a real settlement. Because everyone is believing that he is on the right side. Uh, the, the, by this, we cannot reach uh, an agreement. If everyone uh, uh, built upon the point of agreement or the common ground among them, then I think it will be a, a good step to uh, confess. For example, here in Cairo, we couldn't confess uh, the uh, president of the council, Mr. Faisrak, to sit with uh, the uh, uh, Saleh, the head of the parliament. Yes. Because he, he should be influenced by the people who are supporting him. Yes. Yes, uh, I guess that remains to be seen, the developments in Libya, until at least the much anticipated trilateral summit that is to uh, be held in Algeria. Uh, in an upcoming date, uh, Ambassador Raha, Raha Ahmed Hassan, member of the Egyptian Council for Foreign Affairs, we thank you very much for joining us over the phone. Moving on to uh, our topic of the day, and before we start our discussion, let's first have this quick report. The US dollar drops to a new low of 15.8 uh, pounds in Egypt's banks. Let's watch the report and we'll come back for discussion. The U.S. dollar exchange rate continued its decline in banks on Monday after it has reached 20 pounds in December, but recent projections say it should decline further to 14.5 during the next few weeks. The website of the National Bank of Egypt, NBE, shows it sold U.S. dollars at 15.83 pounds in this morning while buying it at 15.73. Bank Misri is selling dollars at 15.76 and buying it at 15.71, while Banque du Caire is selling the dollar at 15.85 and buying it at 15.75. Uh, Analysts said that the dollar is expected to remain in the 16 Egyptian pounds vicinity within a short-term period, making this the lowest level reached by the dollar against the pound since November 2016. The dollar's decline against the pound started two weeks ago, in which the former lost more than three Egyptian pounds from the highest level reached 
post-pound liberalization. An analyst said that it is highly expected that the dollar price will remain at the level of 16 Egyptian pounds over the next three weeks at least and that the price of the pound against the dollar will reach equilibrium in the fourth quarter of 2017. He explained that this balance will be achieved with the continued implementation of the economic reform program which will lead to reducing imports, controlling the balance of payments, increasing direct and indirect foreign flows to the Egyptian market, improving market market risks and lifting the credit rating of Egypt. Another analyst said that he expects the Egyptian pound to witness successive waves of increases against all currencies over the upcoming period. He expected the dollar to reach 16 Egyptian pounds in March or earlier, while it's expected to fall to the level of 12 to 13.50 Egyptian pounds by the end of June. He explained that these expectations are based on several factors, first of which is the steady increase of foreign direct investments, FDIs. Second, there has been a strong demand on local debt instruments such as treasury bonds and bills by foreign investors. Third, there has been an increase on foreign reserves in the Central Bank of Egypt, CBE. Fourth, Egypt has gradually seen a steady increase in tourism. Fifth, the starting of production in the Zohr field has also been a contributing factor. Last has been the emergence of many local alternative products of important products.